Fun. And sometimes I will go to the gym, I'll work out like crazy, and then I'll come to the back home and look in the mirror. And I'm like, God, the dimples are still there on my butt. <laughs> like, what is going on? And it doesn't happen overnight. Or like, I'll even like eat really healthy and work out for like two, three weeks and get on the scale, and it says the same thing. And it's like, what the hell? You know, you want to get healthier, you want to be fit, and you want to see results. Right. And it doesn't happen overnight. And I bet mm -hmm. your sister can share that with yeah. you. Um, Jackie, what, what do you think? What else can you share? What do you see here? You know, I think there's a couple of really important things, Tyra. One is that, you know, for you, Yasmin, you are really hard on yourself. You're really hard on yourself. For those of us who have been very overweight, obese, morbidly obese, you know, you can go on diets and you're going to lose and gain the weight. I lost and gained the same 100 pounds four times in a 10-year period. I spent a lot of money on diets. Diets, for those of us who are obese, fail 85% of the time. Gastric bypass surgery, weight loss surgery succeeds 87% of the time. So there, I'm not telling you to have surgery. I'm saying give yourself a break. You're, it's a very, very hard battle, but Tyra's right. It's a, it's a game of um, accumulation, and you yeah, have to do overnight. it. it's not overnight. We would love it to be overnight. <laughs> the other side of it is that, you know, your sister's victory is her victory, and you've got to give it up to her. I mean, come on, she lost 20 pounds. That's amazing. Everybody would love to lose 20 pounds, 5 pounds, 200 pounds. She deserves to have that victory, and you're taking it away from her because you're feeling sorry for yourself. And let me tell you something. You don't have to feel sorry for yourself. You are beautiful. I can tell you that till the cows come home. But if you don't believe it, you're not going to feel it. And if you feel ugly, the whole world is ugly. Mamita, you're not ugly. You're wasting your time. Losing weight can drive a wedge between even the closest of friends. Joining me now are Lisa and Tracy. Lisa says she struggled to lose over 70 pounds, but now she's fighting to save her friendship. Okay, so you lost 70 pounds, was it after a baby or? Yes, I had gained, uh, well, over 60 pounds in my pregnancy and I was already kind of a little bit over where I should have been. And so um, I just worked at it and I lost the weight, just regular old portion control exercise, all of that. Mm -hmm. And Tracy has a concern. What is your concern, Tracy? My concern is that she's lost the weight so fast that um, I'm, I'm, I'm concerned that it's not going to stop. And it worries me that, you know, you, you look fantastic, you look gorgeous, and I just I can't lose any more weight. It's worrying you to tears. I see you're tearing up about it. It's, yeah, it's tough. What, 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 why does it, is it that tough for you right now? Well, I just, I've, 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 I've dealt with issues with eating myself, and it's just a horrible place to be. Have you been anorexic before? Yeah. And are you seeing that in Lisa? I, I'm seeing certain little things, such as, um, you know, we, we've gone to a couple dinner parties together, and she's already had, she's already eaten, you know, mm -hmm. doesn't eat. Well, I mean, I know she eat. I mean, I just, you know, it's, we got to the parties, and, oh, no, I'm, you know, I already ate, I'm good, you know. Mm -hmm. and, and you look gorgeous. Tell me about when you went on vacation with your husband, Lisa. Well, we, um, I was, uh, I, I actually lost 50 pounds before I even got married. And uh, I went on my honeymoon, and you know, nobody really watches what they eat when they're on honeymoon, right? So, so I ate whatever I wanted, and I um, gained about seven pounds. And it made you like, oh my God. Well, yeah, I mean, I think, you know, Anytime you see that number on the scale kind of go up, you get a little bit nervous. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you think that you have an, uh, an, an eating thing that could possibly get out of control one day? Do you see yourself as being a borderline? Oh, no, no, no. Um, I, I see myself as a healthy woman who just wants to feel really good about herself. I mm -hmm. think, you know, there's so many moms out there that uh, can't lose their baby weight. I mean, they struggle with it. They feel bad about themselves. And I just took action, and I want to be an inspiration to those women out there who feel like they can't lose their weight. I know you wonder about um, Tracy's concern that you think maybe there's a little envy. That's what you well, told yeah, her. Well, yeah. Why don't you tell her that? Uh, you know, the other day when we were at our friend Layla's house, and you left, and you're like, "Don't lose any more weight. You're scaring me." I mean, it it really hurt my feelings because. Aww. 
you know, like, I feel like I've done this the right way, yeah. you know, I've been really, really careful about it, and, and yes, I have lost a lot of weight in a short amount of time, but it doesn't necessarily mean that I'm not eating and that I'm anorexic or I'm bulimic or any of those things, and I just, I want your support, and, and, and not just to assume that I'm not eating, and maybe I just didn't eat before I went to the party because... I knew there was going to be junk there, you know, Jules makes her awesome chocolate chip cookies and, yeah. and I, you know, you want to have those cookies and if you, if you go there starving, you know, like, I just don't want to indulge that much. Would, do, do you think there's any envy, Tracy, that you have at I all? guess, you know, there's, I can look at her and think, wow, <laughs> we both had a baby and she, you know, I, I, but I don't think it's, I don't think it's that bad. I mean, I understand how you, how I could come across as perhaps a little jealous of of your weight loss and I think but I, I think it's commendable how you've done it. But what do you I, see Jackie? I think that you having had the experience that you had as an anorexic are projecting a little bit because can I tell you as a former fat girl it is terrifying and I mean terrifying when you've lost the weight and you start to see that number going up again because there's a part of us that's conditioned to think those of us have struggled with our weight all of our lives that it's never really going to work because it never did in the past because if it did we wouldn't have ever had to go on another diet again right mm -hmm. and even for somebody like me who's had gastric bypass I have to exercise I don't eat sugar I don't drink alcohol we have to be disciplined but you know you are an inspiration to people and you really should be very very proud of yourself and continue that path but I think that you know it's it's a very different thing than being anorexic although it is a control issue when you've been overweight and that scale starts to go up again hey I'm in the middle of it I just came back from vacation I wasn't watching what I ate at South Beach okay I was laying by the pool ordering room service and you see it going up but guess what less calories in more calories out there's no magic pill there's no magic to it so you're doing the right thing you see it going up and boom you're on it sister and I applaud you for that you're an inspiration to moms you're an inspiration to me but you know Tyra that there's a huge difference between someone who's been severely overweight and lost mm -hmm. the weight and trying to hold on to that rather than somebody who is anorexic, which is a very different mindset. And I'm certainly not gonna try to give you advice, but I congratulate you for obviously caring about your friend and taking care of yourself. We'll be right back. losing weight can change the dynamic in our relationships and it can even shift the way a whole family relates to each other. With us are Tashawn, her sister Stephanie, and their mom Evelyn. Tashawn, Tashawn says that things have radically changed in her family ever since she lost 150 pounds. So first of all, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> so things have shifted, things have changed. What has changed in your family? Well, I used to weigh 309 pounds. Um, I weigh that's one. you. Wow, that's a different person. Different I person. had the gastric bypass surgery. I weigh 165 now. And um, ever since the weight loss, um, I feel as though um, it's pressure on my sister from my mom to, to lose weight. You feel that your mother's putting pressure on your sister to yes. lose weight like you. Yes, because we've all, we've all, me and my sister have always struggled mm -hmm. with our weight. T Stephanie, tell me about the pressure. Are you feeling that pressure that Tashawn's saying she sees? Yes, I'm feeling the pressure because it's like Sean is the, she's the, the cute little one now and I'm, you know, I'm the jolly, you know, chubby one mm -hmm. <laughs> like I've always been. I'm happy for her, you mm -hmm. know, but I do feel pressure uh, yeah. from my family. What type of things does your mom say? Well, um, she will ask me about, um, did I hear about a certain diet pill that they have out now? Or she'll tell me about, well, you know, Randy Jackson had the the gastric, the band, you know, and this one, uh, 